Good afternoon, Black Hive. It is Thursday, March 12th, 2020. So we are talking about Friday, March 13th, 2020. So kind of sticking with that posterior strengthening cycle, we have deadlifts in today's strength. So as you can see, we've been working through a few days leading up to what you may assume could be a one rep max deadlift. Also strengthening for those first pulls on your cleans and your snatches. So kind of doing some posterior building. We've got that five, three, three, two, two building every two minutes on the minute. We know that if you RX at 225, you got 40 deadlifts earlier on in the week. Uh, kind of going into the Black Hot Ville at 185. If you blew through that, then your back should be feeling pretty decent. I know that I did both of those wads this week and I don't feel any pain in my lower back. I'm not feeling fatigued. I feel pretty good. I actually feel pretty loose. So I'm going to come in here and hit these deadlifts. I'm going to probably start that first set of five somewhere around about 60 to 65% of my one rep max. So my one rep max, I'm going to go off 455, right? So kind of guessing around a little bit, probably going to be off. I'm gonna start probably about 315, 325, just giving a little bit of numbers for me personally. So kind of equate that towards yourself. I'm gonna build over a little bit. If you wanna calculate, I would say 65, maybe 70 at the highest for that first set of five, and then building again five to 10% through the threes, and then 5% or so through the twos, right? Remember, we're probably thinking in terms of building that one rep max. So don't go too heavy and blow your back out and be uh, jacked up possibly for next week. Uh, breaking from that, we're going into something with a little bit of a totally different wad. We haven't had many of these particular movements come up in the daily wad, but some of the Black High built. This is a little bit of a descending, ascending ladder wad four times. So 800 meter run, come right in, hit those box jumps. You're only doing 10 box jump overs, 24 for the men and 20 for the women. Once you hit that, 20 burpees, 30 wall balls, and then drop right back down, hit those 20 burpees, 10 box jump overs, and then hit your 800 meter run. This is one of those wads where it's kind of a grinder. You just get through it. I propose everybody can probably do most of these movements RX. So here is what you want to think, 800 meter run. Try to modify that. If you're doing an 800 meter run and it's taking you five minutes, you're hitting a 10 minute, one mile. We want to really think in terms of trying to get that chip down. So maybe a 600, right? We want this time to be somewhere around three minutes of running. That should be hard running, not anything that's a sprint, but it should be a pretty brisk run. 10 box jump overs, 24 for the men and 20 for the women. You can do a tap on the top, jump over. You can do them sideways. It doesn't really matter how you do them, if you do them laterally or facing front of the box, but you want to get over. You can just jump straight over the box as well. So if you aren't feeling comfortable enough to get over on that box and over the box pretty quickly, and you're kind of standing there thinking about it, modify to the 20, maybe three or four plates instead of 20 inch box for the females. Burpees, I think everybody's got those on lock. Don't really need to discuss a whole lot of those. Get through them, push hard. Really think about, am I spending two seconds on the ground? Hit the chest on the ground, pop right back up. Wall balls, you cannot do these unbroken. If you're doing three sets of 10 or two sets of 15, you really want these unbroken. Let's modify that weight down, maybe 18 for the men. You got a 16 somewhere, hit the 16, or even a 14. Same thing for the women. If that 14 is a little bit too heavy, maybe hit an eight, 10, or 12 pound wall ball, but get those unbroken, and then back up. Get the burpees, knock them out. Down and up, down and up. Make sure you get that clap at the top. Same thing with your box jumps. You wanna get up, get on that box, and get over the box as quickly as you possibly can. And then again, make sure you're modifying a hard run for about three minutes. A hard run for about three minutes. That might be different for you than the next person in line in the box, but really try to get a good hard run. Look forward to seeing your scores on the leaderboard. Can't wait to see what I get on these, and I'm about to get after it.